Hey guys, it's Yeshua here, YeshuaBoyton.com, and in this video I want to talk to you about the topic that you might have seen on YouTube floating around or in, in other media outlets, talking about doing what you want and following your passion. I want to give it kind of like a Christian point of view, out of my point of view, my own perspective, and I want to also look at it through the Bible. Now I want to give it first a little bit of context. This channel here and I am all about freedom, getting people set free and delivered, saved of course, you know, having you grow in your faith, you know, experiencing the gospel, that's what it actually is about, being set free, experiencing the gospel and then walking it out daily. But there is a purpose, a purpose while we are being set free, saved and then set free to walk in the calling of God, in the will of God, what God has for us. Not as robots, just mindless people just saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Um, but as people that love Jesus, love the Lord and want to, to do what He wants because we love Him. Want to love what He wants us to do. Which is, again, saving people, getting them free and restored and moving them on. Like It's a cycle. That's what God has in store for us. That's His calling for each and every one. No matter where, where you are, no matter what area you're passionate about or you're working in or what situation you're in right now, He wants to use you to get people to know Him. That's what He sent His Son Jesus for, right? That people would finally be reconciled with Father, Abba, Father in Heaven. That his family would be enlarged and his family would be complete again with you and with all the people around you. All right, so this is kind of the context of this, right? He has a plan for us and a calling. Now, of course, he also gives us passions and things that he wants us to do, but the Bible says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And yes, your neighbor is yourself. Meaning to say, put God first. And another Bible um, scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord and then He will give you the desires of your heart. He wants to be first. He wants, he wants to give you the desires of your heart, like the deepest desires in your heart where you know that you know, if, any, if anything fails, this is what I long for. I can't help it, this is what I long for. This is probably what God has given you. For me, for example, one of those things were to be married and God fulfilled this. But I had to learn to delight myself in the Lord first, to put Him first. That's why it took a little longer <laughs> until I got married. But that's fine, that's okay. To come back to the main point, He has given us passions and desires that He wants us to follow and pursue. He wants you to pursue them, but He wants those passions and those desires to come second, to be founded on His love and His relationship with you, that you know that you know what His will is. Because if you only follow your passion and do what you want, it already says there, you will just follow yourself, what you want. You'll be just doing it in, in your own flesh, in your own strength, out of your own will, right? It's selfish, but God wants you to use this thing in selflessness to bring people to Him, right? This, this is what it's all about. But you can only do this after you have the foundation right, which is Jesus and Jesus alone. So what's the bottom point here, the takeaway for you? Know your calling, know what God has called you for. Yes, find out your passions. Yes, get to know your desires and the things, the giftings that God has given you. Maybe you're gifted in in an instrument, maybe you're gifted in speaking, maybe you're gifted in crafts and being an artist, maybe you're gifted in business. Hey, I'm not just talking about churches and church ministry, I'm talking about you being living your life, your daily life, maybe in the business world. God wants to use you and your passions to bring people in, to get people saved, healed, delivered and restored. But He can only do that if you selflessly say, Lord, here I am, use me, you first, you first, here I am. Your will be done. Hey, why don't you let me know in the comment section below what your de desire is, your, your motivation, your passion, 
doesn't need to be awkward or anything. Just let us know what you're passionate about and what we can pray for, for God to move in and to take over and to use you in that passion. Apart from that, I would like to pray for you right now and maybe you can just open your heart for the Holy Spirit to move and to receive. Jesus, I pray right now for everybody watching this video. I pray right now that you would move powerfully. God, I thank you for the passions and the motivations you have given us. Father, I ask you for discernment for the things, especially with the things that the world is teaching us and the worldly teachings that are creeping into the church. I ask, Father, I ask you that you would give us real revelation out of your word, that we would see those things, identify those things because we know your word, because we know you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would spark a new fire and a new first love in everyone who's watching right now and hearing this. Father, I thank you for your fire right now. God, we put you first. Anything where we pursued our own passion, our own motivation and what we wanted to do, we put it on the altar. We sacrifice it right now. God, we offer it up because we want you first. God, if you have given it to us, Fine, don't take it away, but if, if it is not of you, take it, because we want you, you alone. God, you gave everything for us, and we love you, and we say, here we are. Use us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if this video really blessed you, and you think this could be helpful to someone else, just share it with a friend or family, and I will see you in the next video. God bless you.